Hello everybody. Today I am going to discuss about the interpretation part of geological map. How you interpret a geological map and how you discuss and how you present. I just briefly mention in this video. Before going to writing part of the interpretation of geological map, you need to study a brief study on this map. First of all, you identify it or calculate or find out the elevation of the of this map. This is the thousand thousand feet, which is highest elevation in this map. Then 900, then 800, then 7, then 6, 5, 4, 300. So the regional direction of this map northwest to southeast direction. Okay, and now see here the pattern of the contour line. This pattern like a V shape, which indicates a river, a consequent river flowing over this region whose direction from northwest to southeast direction. Another is here, you see, this is a consequent river which is flowing from also northwest to southeast direction. And also this is the another river which is flowing also from northwest to southeast direction. So this V-shaped pattern indicate there is a presence of river. Now, you need to study about the index. See here, this index, there is a two series of beds. One is Carboniferous, another is Ordovician, this two era. Under this Carboniferous era, you see shale, limestone with shale, limestone, basalt, conglomerate, these four beds under Carboniferous era means this one, two, three, four beds. Now the lower series is Ordovician, including the beds upper shell, upper sandstone, lower shell, lower sandstone, mudstone, and grit. These six beds one, two, three, four, five, six beds. These six beds lower series or Ordovician era. Now we need to start the writing part. So, in first stage, we all of we know we need to introduce our map. So, in writing part, the given geological map is being interpreted under the following heads on the basis of geological section drawn along the suitability chosen line x y you may choose the x y line or it will be given to you the scale of the map being 1 is to 1000 feet okay after finishing your writing about the introduction part now you prepare a succession and vertical thickness of geological beds series name of the beds symbol era vertical thickness and remarks in series there is upper series and lower series in upper series shale limestone with shale limestone basalt conglomerate these four beds are under upper series or carboniferous era now lower series or ordovician era upper shell upper sandstone lower shell lower sandstone mudstone lower sandstone these six beds you just write down here now the symbol if you interest about the symbol, then you just put down the symbol here. Shell symbol, limestone with shell symbol. Okay. And era, carboniferous or division, vertical thickness of the bed. You just put down the vertical thickness of each bed. If you want to know how to calculate the vertical thickness, you just go through my previous video where I mentioned, clearly mentioned how to calculate thickness of the geological map or beds. Now remarks column younger and older. The uppermost beds is younger and the lowermost bed is older. Okay. After finishing this table, now you prepare geological structure. 
The geological structure of the area under study consists of two homokinal sequence. One is Ordovician, another is Carboniferous group, which is separated by an unconformity in between. Unconformity is a line which is non-erosional and non-depositional line which separate the two era. In this map, unconformity separate Ordovician and Carboniferous era. Okay. Now the lower series, at first you write down the lower series because lower series deposited the first time, then the upper series deposited or constructed. Lower series, the older series consists of how many beds? There is a six geological beds, just write down here, six geological beds. The deep of the lithological contact, 5 degree 10 minute, just you calculate the deep and the direction. Same way, you just write down the upper series. The upper series consists of four geological beds because in upper series there is a four geological beds we have already mentioned in our previous table. The deep of the lithological contact, what is the deep of this lithological contact? 2 degree 10 minutes, I have calculated already. You also calculate from your map and the direction is north 42 degree east. Okay. Now you write down, since the unconformity separates two groups of rock beds having different attitude, altitude, the unconformity is an angular unconformity. Here the unconformity is an angular unconformity. Beside the Ordovician group of rocks are affected by vertical normal fault. We have already find out one normal fault in our geological map which is found in middle part of this map the amount of the throw being 300 feet after preparing your map or during this preparation of the geological section you you can easily identify the throw of the map okay now prepare another table magnitude and direction of dip you just write down here series, then era, then upper and deep, then true deep, then deep direction. Okay, series is upper series and lower series. Era carboniferous or division, upper and deep. Just this deep is the apparent deep, 5 degree 10 minute, and this is the apparent another apparent deep, 2 degree 10 minute, and find out the true deep. Just calculate your true deep and put down here. Okay. If you do not understand how to calculate true deep, then you go to go through my previous video. The deep direction, you just write down the deep direction. Okay. After preparing this whole uh, writing part, now you prepare another important things. This is the physiography in relation to underlying geological structure. What is the relation between the physiography and the geological structure. Just write down. The deposition of the contour on the given geological map suggested that the regional slope of the area under study is from west to east. The regional slope. We have already uh, find out the highest elevation of this map and the regional direction of this map. Just write down here. As a result of which not only the mainstream but also its tributaries flowing generally from Northwest to southeast direction. We have already find out there is a uh, three consequent river flowing from northwest to southeast direction, and also their tributaries are flowing over this map. The lowest elevation of the area is observed in the eastern part of the map. This is a 300 feet or less. There are valley and spar trending northwest to southeast direction. If you go through northwest to southeast direction, you find there is a valley and spar topography. The central valley being more or less coincide with the faults. This fault line which is coincide the central valley suggests that the main river of the area has taken the advantage of structural weakness produced by the fault. This fault helped to produce the powerful river in this map. Okay, Just you write down in your uh, sweet 
and melody uh, sentence okay now just you uh, write down another paragraph from the geological section it is clear that the present landform has been mostly sculptured over the lower or older group older beds which is available in our map just uh, deposited the upper series or younger beds the upper group remain almost as a cap series upper uppermost part which is like as a cap over this over the lower series of the beds it is equally clear that the streams of upper series are anti deep in nature upper series river are anti deep in nature while the lower series are deep stream lower series uh, the river just flowing along the deep so we may call this is the deep stream or in upper series which is the river flow in opposite direction deep is if we find the deep from northwest to southeast direction but the river flow in the opposite direction then it is the anti deep stream so uh, whenever you just uh, write down the stream character you just go through your map and find out the the stream is go through uh, deep or the opposite direction of the deep so if the stream go through go along the deep then it is a deep stream or opposite condition it is anti deep stream okay now history the sedimentary nature of the rock base of the area under study suggest they are aquatic in origin either in a vast lake or in a sea we know all the geological beds once a day deposited below the water presently the geological beds of the ordovician era were first deposited so the lower series obviously first deposited in succession from greek to upper shell in the floor of such sea or lake okay after due to consolidation con uh, after due to consolidation of the rock beds the entire area was subjected to some earth movement which converted to a homoclinal structure and emergence of the area above the height of the deposition then the normal process of erosion was started to play their respective role for a long period of time okay prior to carboniferous era the area was subjected to some form of tension and forces which resulted in the formation of a vertical normal fault and also the substance of the area under water so the lower series after uh, the preparation or after the construction of lower series there is a tensional movement which prepare the fault and all whole land submerged into the water then during the carboniferous era sediments are deposited to form massive basalt conglomerate limestone shale this type of the bed are deposited over the, the lower series after due consolidation of rock beds the region under went some form of earth movement which resulted in the emergence of the area out of water so after deposited the upper series four beds the entire area subjected to earth movement and come out or emergence from the water okay now the present landform has been sculptured the normal process of erosion again started to play their respective role and as a result the present landform has been sculptured okay this is the history of geological map you know in this map this is this map if you find two series then definitely the region submerged into the water in two time one era or simple map all the beds are deposited in vast lake or sea then emergence out the emergence uh, from the out of water if the series 
increases single series to double series then whole land form emer submerged into water and emerges from this water so just you keep in your mind how many era in our map if one era then you just write down this this three line three sentences or three paragraph if two era then this six paragraph if three era you write then again whole land or uh, whole geological beds submerged into the water and emerges from the water okay thank you if you find any question any problem you just put down or message in our channel i will solve the problem okay thank you